And so I went to the internist and the internist said to me, you know, you're, you know, 47 years old, you're, you know, have perfect reasons to be anemic, you know, but you should really think you're so close to 50, you should think about having a colonoscopy. So I said to myself, how bad can a colonoscopy be? I can live through the prep. The, uh, the my G GI doctor was at my bedside when I was waking up. And I looked at him and I said, I have colon cancer. And he says, what made you think that? And I'm like, well, what else could it be? And he goes, yeah, you do. Um, so I got in touch with the general surgeon and two days later, um, July 1st of 2011, I had a sigmoid resection, which is they removed a part of my colon. And when the pathology came back, the, you know, about two weeks after the procedure, um, I knew that I would need chemotherapy. Cancers are staged like one being the best, four being not so good. So my original staging was a three, was colon cancer stage three, which required the chemotherapy. When it metastasized to the liver, they increased my staging to because now it's in a different area to stage four. So it required me to have more surgery, and then I required four more months of chemotherapy. Because of I had two different areas in the liver, one was removed and one was kind of, they call it like heated really hot to kill it. And it came back and where it was heated. Um, my husband was, he wanted a second opinion. I was very comfortable with the care I was getting here, but to make my husband happy, I went to another institute at, in New York and met with their specialist there in New York, and he basically gave me the same exact treatment plan that I received here. So I'm, I'm not gonna go all the way down to New York when I can work and come here for radiation treatment. So I did have five rounds of radiation. So since January of 2014, I've had negative PET scans and negative blood tests. And if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely choose St. Vincent's for my um, hospital of choice. You know, it's like a family here. And I felt, I really felt that family atmosphere when I came as a patient. I'm thankful for St. Vincent's because um, with their care, I'm still here five years later. <laughs>